Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to the upcoming games preview for May 2019 for the Drunken Celts. I'm Baltic, and let's get into this. Now, if like me and your gaming backlog is longer than the line at your local food bank, then you might be quite relieved or happy to find out there isn't much happening in May. We've had a really busy year so far, I think, with great releases all round every month, but there's only one game this month that I could give more than a fuck about. Yes, that is Rage 2. What a game this looks as if it's going to be. Open world, first person shooter, absolutely over the top combat. The guns in this game, star of the show, it's a nid game, so you know what you're going to get here. It's going to be some of the tightest gunplay available anywhere. I always love all my id games. Uh, I love the first Rage. Um, and Big Ops Return of the Wing Stick it's coming back so that's basically like um, your boomerang glaive thing like the, what the Predator has or um, the, should I say Giver um, but yeah the, the possibilities this game gives you and the, the different abilities you have um, you've got your dash you've got a a ground stomp where you'll jump way high in there smash down and raise all the enemies up you've also got a vortex thing um, you've got a push power called Shatter, and you can upgrade all of these. The the guns in the game, as I say, it's a nid game, so the guns are going to be fantastic, and they seem to be doing some really interesting stuff. The actual world looks beautiful as well, absolutely gorgeous settings for you to run about and create utter mayhem in. Um, not only that, we have the open world with all new vehicles. Some of these look absolutely tremendous. This great fun, and it's good that Id are basically teaming up with Avalanche Studios here that made the the Mad Max game that was out not long ago. Now, although kind of flawed, I loved that Mad Max game. In fact, I sunk loads of hours into it, completed it, and I actually loved every minute I played with that game. Um, in fact, it's one that. I still have fond memories of and I will be going back to at some point just to clear up the last few bases I had um, to do so. Building on that whole whole game and then bringing the Rage IP over um, and just, you know, the, the, technic, uh, the technical know-how of id. Oh, I've got big, big hopes for this game. As I say, it's right up my street. If you're going to get one game this month and you like your shooters, I've just this has got to be it it's got to be it now it's only one player so a lot of people I hear people comparing it to Borderlands get the fuck Borderlands is a piece a pile of fucking stinking nonsense compared to Rage my friends and I will be willing to argue the point with anyone um, that would like to have that argument anyway being not nothing like Borderlands it is a single player experience um, and it's all about the gameplay over the top story, over the top guns, over the top action, just brutal fucking technical combat right in your face all the time and I cannot wait for this game. Sign me up, um, I'm actually going to try and get this one on launch. Um, as I say, there's not much else out in me that I really care about. Um, you do have a few uh, Switch games coming, so you've got uh, Mortal Kombat 11 coming out in Switch, um, that'll be the 10th of May. Um, as I say, Rage is out on the 14th of May, so keep that diary, keep that date in your diary. Um, Switch, we've also, and PlayStation Xbox, we've got Sniper Elite V2 remastered. Yeah. Uh, Wasteland 2, I know the first one was pretty popular, kind of Fallout, uh, old style Fallout based game. Um, Switch again, Assassin's Creed 3 remaster, who gives a flying fuck? Uh, Sonic Team Racing, out in the 21st of May, could be fun, could be fun, uh, I heard good things about the first game, never really played, uh, never played it myself, but to have a kind of Mario Kart experience on the PlayStation, your Xbox, it might be worth a look, um, <clears throat> only other one game, oh, I'm sorry, two more games that I want to mention, so on the PC you have Total War, Three Kingdoms, um, I used to love my old Total War games, unfortunately my PC could not run this shit without spontaneously combusting, so I won't be partaking, but if you like your turn-based strategy, uh, medieval combat and stuff, it looks amazing. Um, 
And the last one I wanted to mention was Hollow Knight. Now that's getting a physical release on the PlayStation and Switch. So, I mean, Team Cherry did an amazing job with this game. They definitely deserve all the plaudits they've garnered over the years. Uh, it'll probably be the Void Heart edition you'll get. Something I recently picked up and I'm having a lot of fun with. Um, really, really atmospheric, addictive gameplay in that one. So. That wraps us up for me, so it's a good time, as I say, to attack that backlog. What games are you going to be, uh, anything you're looking forward to this month that I've not mentioned? I know there's a Kingdom Come Deliverance, the Royal Edition, is coming out on the 28th of May as well. Um, I've not played the, the that game yet, so this might be the version for me to pick up. Um, as I say, anything you guys are looking forward to, let us know in the comments below. If not, will you be diving back into your backlog what games are you still got to keep up with man Ugh, my list is just never ending man never ending and it's all these fucking 50 60 hour long games that i've, I've keep putting myself to play but at the end of the day it's what we love and that's what we do so as always keep it tuned for more content coming from the drunken Celts gaming channel i've been baltic stay safe happy gaming and i'll catch it